Hi everyone, it's Amanda, and uh, thank you for joining me today. I have a cute little book to share with you um, today. It's actually from Doodlebug's collection a couple, it's either last year or the year before, I think it was 2017 maybe. And this is um, the paper pack that I used. It's a 12 by 12 paper pack called Booville. And the paper is just so adorable. I thought it was really, really cute. And I had been hoarding it, I guess you could say, to um, until the right project came along. And I was at a crop a few weeks ago and decided, okay, I'm going to do something with it. I had, let's see, I actually had two the paper pack, two sticker sheets because I stopped bought the sticker sheet and didn't realize one came with the pack. Then I also bought the um, icons, a six by six paper pad, and the fly away stickers there, and also the odds and ends. So I had a lot of stuff to work with for this project. And in all actuality, I've actually started making a second book um, in a little bit of a different design. So let's get into it. It's a, um, let me see, I can roll back my thing here and tell you how many, how big it is. It's um, a five by seven, I believe. Yep, five by seven with a little bit, about an inch and a half of a spine. Um, anyway, so I decorated the front cover using a cut apart from one of the sheets and a little icon and then a sticker. And then I puffed this up on um, double-sided tape. Um, and then on the spine, I just used paper from the collection. And then this was also one of the cut apart sheets that I added here. I matted most everything on white. And then on the back is another little cut apart. It says October 31st. And if we open up the book, it lays pretty flat. I did use a hinge binding, the hidden hinge binding and have two pages. This first front page has, you know, one of the cut aparts here. I've made a couple little, um, just little punches you know, from Halloween, from stamping or creative memories and have a little of those icons there. And then in this, this is a pocket. So in the pocket, I created a little photo mat and I used one of the icons or one of the ephemera pieces, the odds and ends. And um, I put that here and then I put, have a place for a photo on the back. And then I put a couple little pieces of washi tape that came with the collection. I'm um, just kind of to give it a little bit of a um, whimsical look there. This first page has, um, you know, paper from the collection. And then I took, this was actually a sticker and I used um, the foam tape behind it. And this is one of the cut parts with the little cat here, the punch. And then I made a tag and just stuck it in there with a little bit of ribbon. On the inside, there is a pullout for um, a couple of photos there, and it just goes right back in the pocket. These are stickers from the collection. So I just um, took the sticker, put it on paper, and matted it, and then cut it out and adhered it. The next page is, or on the back of this first page, is one of the cut aparts, and you open it up, and it says trick or treat. So you could put a picture back here or just leave that totally as decorative. And moving on to the second page, we have another tag with all the little eyeballs on it, which is so cute. Um, another sticker of Dracula. And these little spiders are one of the creative memory punches. And then I just drew little lines there, just like they're coming down on a web. And then there's also a pull out here like that. And it just slips in there. And then the back of this page is a belly band with one of the stickers from the collection. And then there is a photo mat here and a photo mat here. This was a cut apart and then this is from the collection. And they slip right in there. And is there's plenty of room here that once the photos are added, it will add, um, there's plenty, you know, won't add too much bulk. You can still fit them in there. And then this is also another cut apart sheet and I have the third little tag that comes with the stickers and I made a photo mat and it just sticks right in here, just like that. 
So that is the end of the book. This is such a cute little mini book. I absolutely love it. Thank you very much for watching my video and have a great day.